what's happening, my music people. This is this is probably the the most consistent thing on the channel as far as views. Whenever I put my music thing, it get a, a consistent amount of views. Whenever I do other stuff, it's up and down. Never know where it's gonna be. But I, usually my my uh, music stuff will do good. But this right here is Anderson Pop Oxnard. Oxnard, Oxnard. And I have never been a big Anderson Pac fan. And everybody always uh giving his praise. Like uh shit from the Joe Buttons to on and on and people in the music industry, they all, man, uh Anderson Pac, man, he's he's incredible, he's incredible. In his first project, I just I kinda listened to it, but I didn't pay too much attention, man. Just like just to have it been on him, like it's is too much in his music. I can feel like if you went a jazz boy or if you see him live and it's doo -doo 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 -doo, and it's all that going on, it would be incredible. But as far as like I like to chill and listen to like melodic like like Scissor or her, Sabrina Claudio's and Bryson Tiller stuff, some kind of like laid back kind of stuff. So his music is a little bit much to, for me. But I listen to this out. And I've been I've been bumping it. And I kind of see I see where people coming from. This shit does go hard. He does have some things on here that's too much for me. That's too much just boom, boom, horns and bells and whistles and all kind of stuff going off. It's like too much for my senses. But they have a lot of stuff that's jamming on here. And so I'm, I'm getting to get into a few tracks. Talk about some things I like. It starts off with number one, The Chase. And I, I like that track, Head Low. It's another one that I like. Number three, Tense, featuring Kendrick Lamar. That is is a good track. They just they just talking talking some some ish. Talking about uh messing with the girl in the car and stuff, and they got uh they got the windows tinted and stuff like that. So they just talking in noise. But it's good and I'm probably gonna upload this video before the other one. I did a Creed, Creed 2 soundtrack. But I'm I'm gonna upload this one before I do the creed. But on there I talk about how on projects lately you see Kendrick and J. Cole on two projects. Like they will be on the person project on different songs and stuff. And people, like they in kind of the same kind of lane. The only reason I bring it up because they are both two of my favorite artists. But I lean a little bit towards J. Cole because he kind of underdog. People they sleep on him. Like his fans. The fans of J. Cole, we hold him to high praise, but he never gets an award or anything. Kendrick gets all the awards and everything. And most of the times, J. Cole outshines him on his stuff. I think Kendrick did better on a Creed album, Creed, Creed 2 soundtrack. On this one right here, J. Cole definitely outshined uh, Kendrick. He's on uh, track 11, Trippy. J. Cole goes ham on here. J. Cole goes ham. Man, J. Cole, man, he, he got to get his props. But let me get back to Anderson Pac, man. I don't want to sleep on the brother on his album. But, uh, no, I stopped on number three with Kendrick. But then, four, five, six, I'm not too crazy about him. That's kind of where he kind of loses me a little bit. But number seven, this track is Smile, Smile Slash hit Petty. Smile slash Petty. I really like that song. I it has a nice vibe to it. Number nine, Brothers Keeper, featuring Pusha T. And Pusha T is talking about like how he's talking about like his brother and stuff, how his brother turned down a lot of money and stuff to uh not be with clips and this and that, but he still loves his brother and they just he, he has a, a superb verse. But Pusha T always has a superb verse. Pusha T be is one of the greatest. Number 10, Anywhere featuring Snoop Dogg, Last Artful, and Dodger. I don't know who those other cats are, but one thing I can say on here, Snoop wrecked it. Snoop sounds like 1993 Snoop. He sounds like, like back in the day Snoop on here. I'm praises to the OG Snoop. I know you're watching this, Snoop. I know you're not. But you did your thing. You did your damn thing on that Snoop. Hey, he... Cheers. Speaking of Cheers, number 12. That's the name of the song, Cheers, 
featuring Q-Tip. And you like Q-Tip, oh man, that old nigga. Uh, Johnny, Johnny Fisher never lie. I forgot what the song. Uh, I remember him and uh, him and Janet Jackson did a song back in the days. But I always kind of like Q-Tip. Q-Tip always he's been a dog. But even when he was solo and stuff. But you know everybody tribe called Quest and stuff. But I was kind of on him more of a solo. But uh, I, I Johnny Fisher, Johnny Fisher never lied. I think that's how the song went. It was it was something with him and Janet Jackson. But uh. I really like this song. I really like this song. They they match together perfectly. And the way they do it, like is like they have their verses and stuff, but then they start going back and forth. And they back and forth, it sounds similar. Their voices aren't too far apart. So it mixes very well. I, I love this track right here. And Q-Tip, he doesn't sound old or dated or anything. Does his thing. Number 13, Sweet Chick, featuring BJ the Chicago Kid. This is a nice joint as well. This one is like is girls, 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 2018 version. It is just like Jay Z's girls, girls, girls. It's not the same beat and all that, but the premise of the song they're talking about the different kind of women in this and that. It is just the same exact premise of girls, girls, girls. But it is a great song. Number fourteen is I didn't write it down. I think that's the last song on the album, but it was trash in my opinion. I didn't like it. But overall, Anderson Pop Oxner. Or whatever, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. I, I I like the album, man. I would say check it out. There are definitely some things that, that you will like on here, I'm pretty sure. It, it is a good project. The instrumentation and everything, they did their thing. Like, you know, Dr. Dre has his hand in it. Dr. Dre has a song on here, but it was in the trash pile. I didn't like it. But you know anything with, with Dr. Dre, you put his, put his finger in it, pause. It's going to be pretty good. But like, comment, subscribe. Going to be the greatest of the most hated. Hit that bell. Uh, stay tuned to your bar. More stuff coming. Peace.